In the sun-drenched expanses of North American deserts, a resilient reptile thrives, the Crotaphytus calaris, commonly known as the eastern collared lizard. Join us on a fascinating exploration into the world of these charismatic lizards, as we uncover their evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. The eastern collared lizard is a large, striking reptile found across much of the central United States. Known for its unique defensive display of extending two black collars from its neck, this species is well adapted for thriving in arid environments from deserts to prairies. As impressive predators and careful thermoregulators, collared lizards provide a fascinating window into the remarkable survival strategies of North American reptiles. This documentary will explore the biological traits, behaviors, ecological roles, and current conservation status of these iconic southwestern lizards. Evolutionary History Collared lizards belong to the diverse lizard family Crotophytidae, which originated over 65 million years ago in what is now western North America soon after the dinosaur extinction. Early Crotophytids were some of the first vertebrates to re-radiate into newly emerging desert biomes after the mass extinction cleared terrestrial ecological niches. Their darting predatory foraging techniques and thermoregulatory behaviors helped lizards succeed in the rapidly warming, arid conditions of the Eocene era. The genus Crotaphytus emerged about 20 million years ago, splitting from its closest relatives. Of the 12 living Crotaphytus species, the most widespread is the eastern collared lizard, C. calaris, which occupies the largest geographic range across the American Great Plains, Midwest, and into northern Mexico. A past climate fluctuation in the Neogene period is thought to have caused a split between eastern and western collared lizard lineages. Eastern collared lizards are fairly large, heavy-bodied lizards reaching up to 14 inches long from nose to tail tip. Their muscular build allows for rapid sprint locomotion across hot substrates while hunting. Large toes and claws enable traction when climbing rocks, trees, and vegetation in search of prey. A long flattened tail makes up over half their total length. One of their most distinctive features is the presence of two black folds of skin on either side of the neck called collars, from which they derive their name. When threatened, collared lizards extend these collars outwards into a defensive display accentuating their large, broad heads. This visual signal aims to startle potential predators in conjunction with the lizard opening its mouth wide and hissing. Collared lizards possess small granular scales across most of their bodies which can transition rapidly between a brilliant emerald green at lower temperatures to shades of tan, yellow, and brown when heated. This camouflage adaptation works to thermoregulate by reflecting more or less incoming solar radiation. Bright green coloration when cool helps absorb heat. Males and females can be distinguished by the throat fan, longer tails, and larger overall size of males during breeding season. Males use bright yellow, white, and blue throat fan displays for courtship and territorial posturing. Ecology. Eastern collared lizards are diurnal sedanweight predators that feed predominantly on insects, spiders, and small vertebrates by ambushing them from camouflaged hunting perches. Their varied diet includes crickets, beetles, grasshoppers, caterpillars, scorpions, lizards, snakes, and even small mammals and birds if the opportunity presents. As a top reptilian predator across their range, they provide important natural pest control benefits. Precision vision aids in detecting even slight movements from potential prey items. Once spotted, they employ rapid acceleration to pursue prey at speeds up to 17 miles per hour for short bursts over distances around 15 feet. Prey is seized with their sharp teeth and either swallowed whole or immobilized and ripped into smaller portions using their powerful jaws. Depending on the climate, their highly active foraging and breeding season occurs from late spring through early fall. During winter and summer heat extremes, collared lizards remain underground in torpor to conserve energy. Habitat and Behavior As ectotherms or cold-blooded reptiles, collared lizard activity centers around carefully thermoregulating their body temperatures within a narrow optimal range. This is accomplished behaviorally by emerging from burrows in early morning to bask in sunlight and raise core temperatures for activity. As temperatures rise too high past 90 degrees Fahrenheit, they retreat into shaded areas or go underground to avoid overheating. Primary habitats include rocky desert and semi-desert environments with dry sandy soils, scattered shrubs, and plenty of boulders and logs for basking and refuge. In more eastern regions, their range extends into prairies, grasslands, open woodlands, and gypsum sinkholes. Males defend large territories from other males using highly visible territorial displays and combat. 
females in contrast maintain smaller, slightly overlapping core home ranges as they seek out suitable nesting sites for laying eggs in sandy soil. During spring breeding season, males perform animated head-bobbing courtship rituals to attract females. After mating, females lay large clutches of up to 36 eggs in warm soil nests then provide no further parental care as the eggs incubate for 65 to 115 days depending on soil temperature. Hatchlings emerge independent yet only 5% survive to adulthood due to predation risks. Conclusion Eastern collared lizards represent the impressive evolutionary success of predatory reptile species finely tuned to exploit the demanding conditions of North American deserts and scrublands. Though they face localized threats from urbanization and overcollection in some regions, stable populations persist across most of their range on protected lands and rural areas with abundant basking sites. Their voracious appetite for pest insects further benefits surrounding human agriculture and minimizes needs for chemical insect control. As spectacularly colored lizards that capture the public's fascination, collared lizards provide a captivating case study on reptilian adaptations to extreme environments. Ensuring their continued survival preserves an iconic link to the evolutionary past while sustaining functioning ecosystems across their dwindling prairie habitats.